make sure to check the tourney's stage list because stage lists could be different depending on each tournament. Pretty much every tournament will be running three stocks and the timer set to seven minutes. So find your opponent that you're gonna play in the bracket. Rock, paper, scissors, your opponent. Winner of the rock, paper, scissors bans one of the stages that are starters. Then the loser of the rock, paper, scissors bans two of those stages. Then the winner of the rock, paper, scissors chooses the stage that the first match will be played on. They play on battlefield and paper wins. So the score is paper has one game and rock has zero. So now the winner of last match gets to ban one stage, including the counterpick stages. These stages are only available to play on once game one is played. The player that lost the last match chooses a stage, and if you want to change characters, you should only do it after the stage is picked. The person who won the last match picks first, and then the person that lost gets to counterpick them with any character. Let's say Rock wins. So now the score is Paper won a game and Rock won a game. So now to play the final game, Rock bans one stage, and then paper chooses. But there could be another rule in the tournament. You have to check the tournament organizer if there is a rule called Dave's Stupid Rule. And the rule is that you cannot play on the stage you previously have won on. So paper can't go to Battlefield because they won on Battlefield. So the player chooses Final Destination instead, beats other player on Final Destination, and wins the whole set and continues to go through the tournament. Make sure to report the set score to the tournament organizer. Another nice website you could use on your phone too while doing this instead of like keeping track in your head, there is this website called Stageless Bands. I'll put the website in the description, but you just go on your phone, go to this website, and then you could do all like the bands visually there.